Well, we woke up today uh, about 50 miles east of the California-Arizona border. And yesterday we left Phoenix and some of our dear friends um, that are there. But I think we're gonna check out Joshua Tree on our way into California. And I don't know, what, what are we maybe swinging by LA? Yeah. Yeah? We're gonna swing, swing through LA and maybe try to surprise some friends. <laughs> and then down to San Diego. So that's kinda, I, th I think, what's on the roster for us. Space, you're on top of me. <laughs> Are you going to leave it? Pretty close. You ready to leave? Uh -huh. Right now. Just brushing out here for the hike. It's beautiful weather, like 55 degrees. I didn't realize there were so many mountains. So that was a fun surprise. Um, but yeah, we're gonna camp in some BLM land tonight. And then tomorrow night, I actually try to get in here and get a spot maybe at one of these campgrounds. But this is pretty cool. I like it. We're about to climb the mountain. It's rocked with huge. And we want to climb it. Pop. Come aboard. Good morning, guys. Um, so today we woke up in BLM land outside of Joshua Tree. This is day two here at Joshua Tree. And um, first thing this morning we woke up and Asher was like, hey, let's go try to get a, um, a spot in Bell Campground. So, so we did. And sure enough, we found a pretty good one. And we actually met some friends already. So. I think it's gonna be a pretty cool time here in uh, here in Joshua Tree. So this is like right behind our uh, campsite, pretty much our little backyard. It's kind of cool. Check it out. This is like my uh, dream as a kid, having an outdoor playground. I love Joshua Tree. I, if I could, would buy like 20 acres of Joshua Tree National Park and build a place to like for tiny homes for our retreat because I love all the rocks and the caves and the little crooks and the trails and the trees. It reminds me of the Flintstones a little bit. Our friends, uh, just over at the next campsite. We're gonna go check out their place. Come on in. Hey, what's up guys? How's it going? Did you hurt your finger? I don't I don't know where I got it. No. Do you want a band-aid? Come on in. Band-aid. Band Inside the Ruth Hart Hotel. Yeah, cooking some veggies. In the house. Tiny house on wheels. Matt finally got hungry, so we're making some some food. Sweet. 
Sorry what are you up to, man? I'm finding pictures on this book. I know. So we've been here in Joshua Tree for like a week now. But uh, one of the first few days that we went into town, we uh, saw this parking lot and had a bunch of like uh, little, you know, buses or, you know, trailers or whatever. And we saw this, uh, saw this cute little camper. And, you know, for a long time, we've wanted to get like a cargo trailer or some sort of trailer and rebuild that for like a living room, kind of. And we saw this camper and we're like, wow, that's pretty sweet. And so we've kind of kept our eye on it. And sure enough, they had just set it out there to sell it like three days before that. So we slept on it and sure enough, like we went back the next day and we we're all checking it out. We, uh, we gave them an offer. They were like, this is what it's worth to us. And he was like, well, yeah, okay, that's cool, pretty much. So yeah, now we, we have a whole new project to work on from something totally, you know, kind of spontaneous for now. So we're getting a hitch put on the van and uh, we got ourselves a living room, a little lounge. Well, it's a uh, Sunday yep. and March we're packing up camp. We kind of spontaneously decided, um, well, it's kind of a group decision along with our friends, uh, Matt and Casey, uh, that we were going to pack up camp and make our way to some BLM land, save some bucks on camping the last few nights. And uh, we're gonna try to figure out the situation with getting um, hitch and you know wiring put on the van so that we can pull, uh, so we can pull Esther, our new camper, um, which you can see behind me. What are you guys up to? Oh, getting ready to go fill water. Um, so we put all our water jugs in here so when we do stop for water, it'll be much easier. <clears throat> you gotta fill up your camper too. <clears throat> yeah. As long as there's water there, we'll fill this one. And I have one already full in the back of the van. Some back weights and water back there. They are well prepared. So when I'm filling this, I can fill here. We don't have near the off-grid capabilities of these guys. <laughs> <laughs> the Ruth Hart rig. Boom! I love y'all's rig. Jeez. What do you think about this place? Good. You like it? <laughs> Joshua Tree's pretty awesome. But how huh? many um but how many hours is it to get there? Less than one hour. And Daddy, what happened to this? You just broke it. We're really going to miss it. Our campsite was the best. We are heading out to BLM land to camp now so we can save a little bit of money and also work like saw things and make our camper really cool because we can't really do that in a national park. So we're excited about that. I washed my hair today in our sink. So I'm feeling real fresh and clean. Come on, Bear. And I'm ready to move on to the next spot. So we've made it to our new campsite now. We have the Ruth Hearts behind us and uh, we're gonna go grab our little new camper, um, Esther, Esther the camper. But man, look at this. So a whole bunch of BLM land um, right off of Interstate 10 um, going into Joshua Tree. And so we're out here and we're gonna be here for a few days as we kind of figure out what's BLM next. Land. So since we don't actually have a hitch yet, um, our friends are gonna go back to the campground with us and uh, get us hitched up to Esther and then we'll be back. So what's this? We're, we're so busted. Oh, I guess they want us to leave. Overstayed, Overstayed your welcome. By 40 minutes. It's time to get the vintage out. Yep. So we're grabbing Esther. We're gonna take her to our new campsite. Um, but with sunflower. With sunflower. Here we go. Right there, doesn't it? Uh -oh. What happened? Uh -oh. So the 
the, the lock vibrated shut. The deadbolt? Yeah, the deadbolt vibrated shut. So. Okay. The windows. The windows are locked. Oh, they are locked. Yep. Can you get into the camper through here underneath the thing? Let me go in there. Can we not unlock this back hole down here? Um, I haven't got through there yet, but even then, I mean, that's an option actually. We're locked out of our house, so I need to put you through the window. Why? So you can go in there and unlock that front door for us. Do you think you, you can, can do, do it? Alright. One, two, three. Cheerleader Feet first style. For that. One, Feet first would probably be easier. Ow. Ow. Watch your head. Are you in there? Alright, now go over to that door. You can do it. Thanks, kiddo. I have to do it again. Oh, you do? Of course you do. Birthday, Mom. Happy birthday, Mama. You guys are so sweet. Looking good with your 31 year old body. Oh, give me some of it. Um, let me sore my arms. She was born in the summer. The 31st year. I think I want to run. Start my year off right. Oh, yeah. Thanks to these guys, they let us take a shower in their sweet RV because we're showerless. But I don't look homeless anymore. So that's nice. So Ashley actually can run a curling iron off of our uh, goal zero. Goal zero. Yeah, actually, the 3000 watt surge just handles it like a like a champ. Like a champ. Let's see how much watts you're pulling though. Really? Yep. yep. I'm gonna go over there. Right over there, right past oh. you. Um looks like we're pulling about really inconsistent. Averages maybe like a hundred watts. Let's see how many amps. Between wow. Maybe like averages of like eight amps or something. Quite a bit actually. What are you doing anyway? I'm spending my birthday painting these cabinets because all I want for my birthday is to see these white cabinets up in their rightful places. All white and shiny and out of my way. Dude, we just got our... Yeah. What is it, a Kurt? Um, not sure the exact receiver. model. But a Kurt mm -hmm. receiver put on the van. Now... We can hook up to Get Esther once we get our uh, our lights in. So our lights are coming into the Ford dealership in Joshua, well, in Yucca Valley, um, like tomorrow or the next day. So now we have the receiver on and we can actually pull Esther out of here. Oh, where are you headed, Ash? I'm heading to Oklahoma City. Why? To work the auto show. Um, I'm really excited because it is where we used to live and Mars' family lives there. So I'm going to get to see my in-laws and maybe some old friends. And also have a little getaway where I get a whole humongous hotel room mansion to myself. And that's always nice. Which you love. 